Well, we've talked with Carol Sadlon of, of the uh, movie house in at Millerton, New York, and of course, uh, the guys uh, who are just doing a great job that run the uh, Sharon Playhouse. Uh, they have uh, started a whole bunch of events uh, that go for uh, the rest of the month of September on Sundays, and I even think into the first weekend of October, where the uh, the Playhouse will be an outdoor movie theater and uh, bring in films, and it will benefit along with uh, other things. The movie house in Millerton, uh, first one sold out. Uh, there was uh, no doubt about that. I think they'll all be sold out. Uh, and with us right now, we have one of the main participants in the next event coming up on Sunday at uh, the Sharon Playhouse, uh, where it's a drive-in movie event featuring Harold Lloyd, Grandma's Boy, and also Buster Keaton in The Blacksmith. And I am very happy to welcome Donald Sosin in, uh, Donald Sosin and Joanna Seaton providing the music for these events. Uh, Donald, uh, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Marshall. It's nice, nice to talk to you. You know, I remember when you first started doing it. How long ago was it when you first actually started really pushing and, 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 and performing the, the live music uh, to, to these films, which, of course, were silent films? I think it was back in, in the Pleistocene age, sometime, <laughs> you know, 7 million, 15 million years ago. Uh, I, I'm coming up on 50 years of doing this next March uh, will be the 50th anniversary of the first public silent film screening that I did out in Ann Arbor, and then I moved to New York and have been doing it ever since. And we moved up to Lakeville 30 years ago, and uh, we're looking forward to coming back to performing after a six-month hiatus. You know, it's funny. Uh, uh, 2021 will mark my 50th consecutive year in full-time broadcasting. That's, oh, you know, no kidding. We'll you, have to you, have a party. Well, you look back and you say to yourself, wow, where did it all go? But the work that you and Joanna put into this uh, r- really, truly has been amazing, and you've done this all over the world. Yep. From, uh, I mean, from here in the northwest corner to New York, Lincoln Center, MoMA, BAM, San Francisco, Thailand, Moscow, Shanghai, South Korea, uh, quite quite an extraordinary and completely unpredictable uh, career. We never never in, had wild in our wildest dreams thought that we would be doing this. Well, it's it, what we're talking about is the uh, doubleheader movie event, the drive-in movie event at the uh, Sharon Playhouse, which is coming up uh, on Sunday. Uh, gates open at six. Uh, introductions at seven fifteen. Uh, the first film starts at seven forty-five. Uh, ticket prices are fifty dollars per car. That includes a goodie bag with popcorn and treats. Uh, you can get tickets simply by going to the moviehouse.net and click on the buy tickets. Uh, there's safety guidelines that you have to follow at the Sharon Playhouse, but there's also going to be uh, available where you can order dinner in advance from J.P. Gifford. There's going to be a bar open. Uh, and let's talk about the movies itself. Um, when you first got into playing the, the music for silent films, did you have particular favorite silent films that you that you only worked with at first? Well, I was doing a film series at the University of Michigan the very first couple of years I was playing, and so it wasn't uh, wasn't my choice. I would whatever they were they were showing classic great films, so I got exposed to all the wonderful comedies by Keaton and and Chaplin and Lloyd and other other comedians, and then the dramas of D. W. Griffith uh, with Lillian Gish and the horror films like Phantom of the Opera. That was actually the first one that I ever did. Um, the, among the favorites are the ones uh, that show the, the great comedians at the top of their uh, game, like the ones that were showing on Sunday. Um, Buster Keaton started making shorts by himself in 1920 after a kind of a, a uh, apprenticeship with Roscoe Arbuckle, and these shorts are amazing, fantastic comedy. There's no CGI; it's all what you see is what you get, and the laughs are nonstop. And I, we chose this one, The Blacksmith, because it, it takes place in a, a, a little blacksmith shop that could have been in Sharon, you know, uh, back in the 20s when uh, the horse uh, was giving way to the car as the means of transportation. And so you find Keaton dealing with both, uh, shoeing horses and also destroying cars. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, and then let's follow it up with Harold Lloyd and Mildred Davies and, and Grandma's Boy. Both these films, by the way, are from 1922. Yes, and um, Grandma's Boy, and we're doing this because it's Grandparents' yeah. Day, I believe, next next Sunday. Um, so he uh, he is growing up as a young man who is bullied uh, by a local bully and has a girlfriend, and the bully's trying to steal her away. But Grandma comes to the rescue and tells him about his famous grandfather who saved the day during the Civil War, and she gives him a magic talisman to help against bullies that was handed down from his grandpa. So, um, again, great laughs, great action, and a love story to boot. Now, and now let's put in how you layer in over this, uh, the music that goes with this, what you and, uh, you, what you and Joanna do for people that have, have no idea how you do this. Well, um, we look at the film and we figure out what kind of music ought to go with it. And in this case, some of that is dictated by the film itself, yep. because Mildred Davis, who, who later was um, Lloyd's wife, sits down at a little harmonium. And then the, the title of the sheet music that she's got on the organ rack flashes on the screen, and then she proceeds to sing it. And so we've looked it up, we've worked on it, and uh, done this many times and find a way to uh, actually incorporate this, the song, which was a famous song known to everybody at the time, called um, the ideal, You Are the Ideal of My Dreams. Um, and even some of the lyrics flash on the screen. So we'll be singing that, and uh, by the end of the song, the audience could sing along in their cars, too, if they want. You know, what's, what's great about this is also I would, I, I would think that the music you, you pick uh, brings in the melodrama and the comedy as well during the rest of the film. Right. Well, I mean, given that this is a Civil War yeah. film in part, yes, we're using standard Civil War film, um, Civil War music, Johnny Comes Marching Home, and Dixie and so forth. Uh, or maybe since Dixie is now a little bit politically incorrect, we might use another Civil War song like the Bonnie Blue Flag, which is a great, great tune. So, so the prep work that goes into this for you and Joanna must be pretty impressive. Um, well, I mean, over the years, <laughs> we've done hundreds and hundreds of shows. I, I, I estimate that, that since 1971, I must have done around 4,000 shows, and many of them with Joanna starting around, I think we started doing these in the early 90s. Even though, actually, even before that, when we were living in Manhattan, we were doing shows at the City Core Center at 53rd Street and out on Snug Harbor in Staten Island, where we ended up getting married in the place where we had started doing films. Wow. <laughs> uh, we're speaking once again with Donald Sosin. Uh, Donald uh, Sosin and Joanna Seaton, his wife, will be uh, perform performing the music and, and, and songs uh, to the uh, double header, the two silent film classics, uh, Grandma's Boy and the Blacksmith on Sunday, uh, the 13th, at the Sharon Playhouse Outdoors. There's room for 52 cars. Uh, ticket prices are $50 per car. Uh, money raised at this event goes to benefit the movie house in Millerton, New York. And before we got on the air, Donald and I were talking about the effects of the pandemic and really one of the most affected businesses around here. Yes, all the artists and the art, but the movie house literally has been just shut for six months. And like I said to Carol Sadlow when I was speaking to her, the movie house really started the rebirth of Millerton as we know it today. Yeah, it's absolutely true. Carol and her late husband, Robert, uh, were just so amazingly uh, a, a, a part of this renaissance in Millerton, and we're very, very happy that we can uh, be part of helping the movie house at this point through the Playhouse event. And for people to look at this pandemic in a different way, uh, uh, this has also affected you and Joanna with what you do and what you've built up over all these years. Well, yeah, I mean, we were talking before we got on the phone, uh, on, on the air, that that Joanna and I had a very busy schedule planned for this year. We normally perform all over the place. Uh, we would have gone to Europe to perform in the summer, and I would have been at the Telluride Film Festival this weekend. Uh, and, and we had dozens and dozens of gigs canceled, along with all the people that we know in the music and theater and film business. Things are really terrible. So we're glad to be able to at least start getting back uh, in this way 
into performing, and we have a gig in Brooklyn the following weekend on the Gowanus Canal, of all places. <laughs> uh, people will paddle up uh, and watch a great Italian uh, spy movie. So uh, ho- hopefully this is just the beginning of getting back in- to biz, and we'll be joined by our friends and colleagues all over the country and the world who are getting back to business. So once again, this is coming up on Sunday at uh, the uh, Sharon Playhouse, the drive-in movie event. Uh, For tickets and more information, uh, all you have to do is go to the moviehouse.net. Scroll down, you'll find the big poster there, and then you can click on the links to buy tickets and and more. And folks, buy your tickets early because these sell out. Every show that they've done now at the Playhouse has been a sellout, and it sells out very quickly. And uh, if you appreciate the things that are going on at the movie house, anyway they also have a link there we can click on and uh, donate to the movie house uh, as well and uh, Donald uh, you and Joanna keep up the great work uh, it's amazing uh, the amount of work that you've put into the project that you now really uh, I think are recognized internationally for and we're very proud to have you as uh, once again our local our local uh, entertainers that uh, just always are there when somebody's in need thank you Marshall that's very kind of you we have a website, oldmoviemusic.com, and uh, we have a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays out there also, and some fun things on our website that people can listen to. All right, Donald, I'll break a leg on the show on Sunday night. Thanks, Marshall. Thanks so much for having us.